What's up, mobile gamers? It's Drones or Gigs, and today, not only do we have a double upload, but we got something a little bit different here. Now, a lot of you are going to be like, what the heck, this isn't T3 Arena. You're right. It's something called Honkai Star Rail, and I got recommended it, and I wasn't really sure about it, but turns out it's actually not too bad. So I figured I'd put it on the channel, we'll do a short video and see how you guys like it. Um, I think it's gonna be a pretty fun game, but I'm not necessarily sure how you guys as viewers are gonna feel about it. So even if I did put it on the channel, it would only be a couple videos, uh, you know, maybe like once a week or something. Um, and we're not gonna slow down on T3 content or anything like that either. So this is the first video. I wanted to get you guys' opinions on it if you think I should, you know, branch into this game as well and obviously Whenever a cool mobile game comes out, I'll be sure to try it on the channel. But it's obviously called Star Rail because this is the train right here, and it like drives through space, right? So it's literally a Star Rail. Like that's that makes pretty much perfect sense to me. Um, we've got our base heroes. We just got through the tutorial. This is the last part of the tutorial where you face the boss. And it's honestly super cool, and I think that the heroes are a perfect mix. So we'll go ahead and show this to you guys here. So, I wouldn't necessarily consider this spoilers, because this is like literally... I just got my final team member, and this is the first boss we face. Her name's March 1st. Um, I don't know why. It's kind of an interesting name. That's like the big bad of the tutorial, right? So we basically have been retreating from this big bad, and now we're gonna fight him. So here's the screen, he's got the first two turns. So as you can see it is a turn-based RPG. So he's got two big old hands with some claws. And our team is not liking it, so that's interesting. It's turn-based, right? So you have your basic attacks, your your special attack, and then you have your... Uh, so that's like your ability kind of in T3. And then you have your ultimate. And it works a little different in T3. You can see this is a turn-based RPG, so completely different game, but it's still a mobile game. Uh, the turn-based element is right there on the left side of the screen. You can see who's going to go, and in what order. So, the cool thing about this game, I'm going to show you guys right off the bat, is you can activate your ultimate whenever you want. So, I'll actually wait till he does his attack first. So, the enemy has an attack in two turns, and I really love this character. Obviously, she's a support character. You already know this if you watch the channel. Uh, we're going to go ahead and protect my main character, because I feel like she gets hit a lot. So, defense bubble... And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the blast because the blast allows you to target three things. So you can pick who you're targeting and it's basically like the core that he has, his heart, so to speak. And then the regular, you know, claws that he has. I'm not sure if we're under level for this. I have absolutely no idea what he just did. Anyway, alright, so we, we don't have any skill points. So you gain skill points to use your tacticals. Boom, all right, we're gonna interrupt him, Rock. So, if you look at the top left, so whenever he hits a girl, the defensive girl that I like does this thing called girl power, and it's basically a counter. Whenever any girl on the team gets hit, she hits him back. So, we just broke the enemy there, and whenever somebody gets broken in this game, it like breaks their shields. And if you break them with the right attribute, then they take extra damage, so... Um, and then, obviously, since the girls got hit, we got the the rush from the character there. And then we're gonna use... we're just gonna use the ultimates, because they're really cool. I'm gonna showcase them to you guys. So, you get to pick it here. I'm actually going to destroy his arm, because I'm not sure if it's actually gonna, like, destroy it fully, or if it just gives me a combat advantage. Oh, I didn't even destroy it, so there you go. We are gonna use my main character. I did pick the girl, all right? 
And before you guys even say anything, the person that recommended this game to me in the Discord, they said that the girl has better animations and that's why you should choose the girl. So I chose the girl because I wanted to up the experience for you guys. Otherwise, I probably would have chosen the guy, I think. But we will we'll use our single target so we get some skill points here since we have the next four returns. And I, what I like to do is take my shield and put it on my two weakest heroes. We can probably honestly get shield on everybody here, but you got that good single target damage. So I think right now the claws are like out of commission, so to speak. And can we actually, can we, I don't want to do her ultimate, can I back out of it? No, I can't. Alright, whatever. We'll just show you this. It's a super cool ultimate. It does a lot better when it's AoE, when there's a lot of enemies, but... He's got the next turn. I'm not sure what's going to happen. He recovered from the break. It doesn't even one-shot the hero, that's crazy. So, as you know, this is a boss battle, so I half expected my guy to be dead already. So the white bar there is the shield, and we won't be able to break him until next turn. But we're going to go ahead and defense up our girl here. She's my favorite character for sure so far. And this is the tutorial team, so everybody you guys are seeing here is who you're going to be able to play if you pick up the game. Literally right away. So that's what I really like about it. And he's going to do his turn. Not sure when the claws are coming back. So as you can see, the shield protected me from a lot of damage. And we got girl power. Never heard of it. They have cool voice lines and stuff. I think it's a really... And these are the, the anti-matter legion right here. And he's like... Oh, he's got like a secondary... Okay, alright. So we're gonna go ahead and just put a shield on our on our girl here, because I feel like he's gonna come back even stronger once it's his turn. So as you can see, I clicked that ultimate ability and it literally goes right after. So it's really cool. I really like that you can use it to interrupt combat. And if you like, you need to kill somebody super quick. Oh, it's attacking again. See, this is really cool. The rest of the game is also really good as far as, like, balance goes. You don't ever feel super under-leveled, but, like, for instance, you'll see that all the people that have shields are totally fine, and my main hero girl is not in the best condition. So, kind of the only downside is that if you don't have any defensive or healer hero types, then it might not be the best. But, so far, I haven't really needed the defensive hero until this battle. I didn't actually expect to need her too much, but... You can see we got a bunch of breaks there, and we got the victory rush. So, we're gonna try to break his defenses here. We've almost got the AoE ultimate for our blue girl here. Her name's March. I don't really know why still, but it's pretty cool. He recovered from break already, that's crazy. Ooh, I bet, I bet our main hero dies here, maybe? No. Well, as you can see, the shield is really good. Like, really, really good. If we don't like that. We're gonna go ahead and interrupt that once he gets his little... Ooh, our healer... Our, our guys are definitely taking damage and we don't have a healer. So here's the AoE I was talking about. She's really good for freezing enemies. So you got to break on one of the gauntlets there. And unfortunately, I would say if you don't have your ultimate for, like, the main hero, then she's a little bit weaker, at least compared to the other heroes, especially her. I don't even remember what her name is, because she's kind of, she's kind of like your basic damage dealer. So everybody has, like, a super cool attribute. Hers is physical, so our main girl is a, a physical attribute. Alright, so we're going to break his arm here real quick so he can't use it. And then I think we might be able to tap into some of this health here. Because he's got one attack. We're going to 
use our attack afterwards. I'm not sure. Hopefully this is an AoE because a lot of my characters are pretty low. Maybe we'll actually get to interrupt this. This would be really cool. There we go. And we broke him. Now we get to just do damage. Now, what I will say is I'm probably going to lose my main hero just because of how low on health she is, and you can see that even my other guy is pretty low on health as well. So he's going to recover here, unfortunately. I think we might have won. I'm not sure. Okay, I thought it would have three phases, but it only had two. Dope, we got some self-sacrifice. I must leave now. <sighs> what happened? We must see the end of your story. Who is that? We see the end of your story. Uh, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the god of this world so I'm not really following too much she basically is like a vessel for this thing called the cancer of worlds and I'm guessing it's gonna make her ultra powerful okay who's this dude he's got a cane and he's super young looking they're okay now let's talk somewhere else Okay, this guy just ruining the thunder. Least favorite character of the game, for sure. Not really a fan. Is this? Alright, so I named my character Noel, obviously, after Black Clover. He's part of my team. He's the, the green dude that you saw. It's I wonder if, how, how March is. Piece. Okay. You can rest easy now that the threat yep. from the Legion has been neutralized. So the Legion's the bad guys, obviously. Um, well, we do have dialogue options. I will say that they don't seem too as as crazy. The beast fell, the Legion... I guess I'll leave you to rest up a bit for the time being. By the way, um... Ask him for her number, dude. Go see Himiko He's already time. got your number. That's how smooth he is. New message. I want to show you guys the movement real quick. Uh, I think Him Himiko might be the red girl. Yeah, Himiko is the red girl. You can see that on the the right side here. So we get to show you guys the character screen. So obviously these are all my characters at the top left, and then on this right side you have all the stats and the skills and the and then see she's destruction. So that's her attribute. Um, so it's still somewhat in the tutorial phase. But I wanted to show you guys the first boss fight. I think that's a pretty good place to start. Um, so we just activated her idol on here. And then obviously you have other stuff you can look at. Like a skill tree for each of your heroes. Light cones is like a... Uh, they're skill cards that you can equip that enhance. So the one I have is... Helps par characters on the path of destruction. And then that's the effect in green there. And then it has like a cool quote and stuff. And it shows you that and then here's just like the basic stats it shows you the cards you have and then it shows the skills here like the techniques and the talents and stuff and then here is the path so destruction hunt and then these bottom four are the ones i really like because obviously they're support style i do not have any of the abundance heroes yet because you only get like one spin or or pull or whatever because it's a gotcha game and I don't think I got anybody good and it's kind of hard to to use heroes when you have like someone who's super cool on on the on the team here because she's a trial member of the hero so you can sprint and then since the Legion left you can't I can't really show this to you guys whoops you're awake I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on it's almost time she should be right <sighs> I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? 
Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master. Okay, so of this is like. Genius oh, there you go. It literally said it. Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society. Right, so you have your different dialogue options, oh, and it does. That old Zen now <laughs> came up with a name. You think I'd like it? So, this is pretty so, cool. I think the story, we're gonna skip it a little bit because of the video, but I think the story's really good. Um, a lot of people have been saying it's the same as Genshin, but I haven't played Genshin, so for me it's new. And I think this does have. Anyway, so this is just kind of the conversation. This little, aren't you worried? I'm very. You understand now? Well, I'm going to have to modify your word. And after that, <sighs> all right. So I'm trying to skip this for you guys because it's a video, obviously. But yes, give it. Just remember to come back off. There's no need to rush. Cool. All right, we're gonna should be done with this almost. There we go. So I want to show you guys, obviously, you can, like, sprint around. We got a message from Herta. She's the one. Interesting. So you can actually text. This is, it's pretty cool. So. Oh, Himiko left the team. That sucks. Okay, maybe, will I get to... Add the character that I pulled. So here you can see the characters I have. And this is my other character that they give you. There you go. That's the team. Super, super cool. This is the new girl. And you can, so you can sprint and stuff, which is really dope. I like that they did that. Um, these buttons here allow you to engage combat and it gives you a, a like a, a a leg up on the people that you're fighting so it does damage or it applies debuffs or status effects um, you can see that March has like a snow effect right and so it'll freeze the enemy if you use that uh, button when you're doing that so really cool game I'm really liking it so far let me know what you guys think if you want to see more of it on the channel like I said, we're not going to go crazy and get rid of T3 or anything like that. But, you know, maybe small installments just to kind of show you guys the progress of where we're at. I think it's a really cool concept. And I'm not the biggest fan of anime games because I feel like they do, like, way too much fan service. But as you can see, the girls are well-dressed and they're not all skimpy. And, like, this guy looks all right. He's kind of coolish, I guess. He doesn't have a big sword. Um, and they don't have, like, the squeaky voices either. They all have pretty normal voices. So it kind of hits all the stuff in my wheelhouse for mobile games. And I really like the, the aesthetic that it has where you can, like, run around and engage in combat. And it gives you an advantage if you strike outside of it. And I think the, the fact that you can like pull out your ultimate whenever you want is super super cool so let me know what you guys think we're gonna be on track to getting a healer for sure i really want a healer on the team because you guys know me i love support but anyways let me know down in the comments obviously drop a sub if you're already a fan of this game or if you're like really liking the game and you want to see more of it on the channel let me know down in the comments what you guys' thoughts are and we will see you guys in the next video.